हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज मैनाक फ्रॉम सिविल सेंटर एंड आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू बैक टू आवर चैनल सो फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी हैड सीन हाउ टू क्रिएट अ सेंटर लाइन डायग्राम इन ऑटो कैट एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस आल्सो वी हैड सीन हाउ टू इंसर्ट द कॉलम पोजीशंस सो दिस इज अ कंप्लीट वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज ऑफ जी प्लस टू बिल्डिंग डिजाइन वेयर वी स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम कॉलम पोजीशनिंग देन सेंटर लाइन डायग्राम एंड नेक्स्ट वी विल प्रोसीड विद द क्रिएशन ऑफ बीम कॉलम प्लान्स so before proceeding forward we can just remove this one column which we had assigned here because it's not required so we can remove this column later we can check as per our analysis and design whether this column is required or not for now we just remove this as you can see it has a span between 12 to 20 feet which is 15 feet 8 inches so if we omit this column then it will do so the number of columns here you can see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 17 so there are 17 numbers of column and the area is around 16 1644 square feet so it's approximately one column per 100 square feet so it's okay here so we'll proceed with this first of all we need to convert this file into mm so for that we'll go to a separate autocad sheet and we'll set the units as mm so we'll set the units to decimal precision of 0.0 and millimeters okay so as you can see this file unit is feet and inches but for designing in any software like tecla structural designer or stat pro we need to convert this from feet and inches to mm or meter so that we can design because we can design using our si units that is newton per mm square or kilonewton per meter square so we'll convert this we'll convert this using our align tool so first of all in this new sheet we'll set the, all the units as mm we'll set the dimensions and as well as text and then we'll proceed forward so now we'll go to annotate in the new sheet and we'll define the text size so let us create a new text style let us name as p75 so let us assume that the scale of the sheet that is the a4 sheet will be 75 and we'll just click on okay we'll start with a font size of times new roman and text height as we know that 2.5 mm is the standard text height so for a scale of 75 You can just multiply by 2.5 into 75. So it's coming as 187.5. So just we can use as let us use as 200 mm as the text height, and then click on Set Current, and then Apply. Just close this, and then we'll go to Dimensions. We'll create a new dimension style, and which copy of standard we'll just name it as D. 75 and then we we'll start with standard continue so here in the lines option we'll all do this as by layer because by changing the property of a layer we can change all the individual properties so all this we'll do as by layer and then the symbols and arrows option will give the arrow size so text size we had given as 200 mm for a scale of 75 now we can give this as 200 mm that is the same as the text height or little bit less so let us give it 150 or let us say 175 mm so we have given it the arrow size and then next text we'll select the text style as p75 this things will select by layer so now this one will select align with dimension line and then we'll go to fit in fit here the text placement will give as over the dimension line without leader so this one will keep and the primary units decimal and precision of 1 point after decimal and then we can click on okay click on close here if we want we can also set the leader type we can just create a new type of leader we can name it as l75 and then continue we'll just keep the arrow head size of let's say 175 mm 
okay and then we'll just do set current to the l75 and then close so we have set the text and dimensions now we need to import this cat file having feet and inches into this autocad file in which units and dimensions are set to mm so we'll do this in the next video hope you guys enjoyed this and don't miss the next video stay tuned bye bye